Ladies and gentlemen, you know who's back. It's your boy, Moonshot Max, bringing you all this Zen content that you love. And on today's episode, guys, just the other day, we had a bullish AMA with Crypto Kindness. Jack was there spitting all the knowledge, and I'm sitting there with my popcorn listening, trying to dissect the things that he's saying. But we got some bullish news coming from Jack himself. Get prepared, guys. Hit that like, smash that subscribe for your boy. We're going to get busy, guys, and get straight into this video. So you already know who's not a financial advisor. That is me. You already know who got to do their own research. That is you. And taking a look at the GUI right now, we're looking at 99 Yo, it's like $47 to mint some free Zen. $47 for something free? I thought free is supposed to be 0, 0.00. But man, $47, that's a lot of money. And if we take a look at Jack Levin's tweet, he said Zen mints have stopped. That is super bullish. Why? Because high gas equals high cost equals very high difficulty of people trying to mint these free NFTs. And this is super bullish because people are going to just straight up start buying some Zen on ETH because to mint costs too much money so i might as well just buy it what's another bullish aspect of this high gas well people are going to explore the zen universe so a lot of people already know that eth is where zen is at with the high market cap with the high liquidity all the great stuff is happening over there but when people like you and me can't afford to spend 48 dollars to mint and claim some zen we are going to look elsewhere and for me personally, the next in line is going to have to be the Binance blockchain. The third in line is going to be Polygon and the next is going to be Avalanche. So for me personally, I am acquiring lots of DB Zen in those blockchains like Avalanche and Binance. Let's take a look at my DB Zen over here. And in my Avalanche account, I got 1032. And of course, we already know we get some protocol fees, some AVAX fees. It's not really high at all because the price right now is not that high. But 20 cents, in my opinion, is a really good price. I'm accumulating this token. Why? Because I believe this token could be five to ten dollars one day. And especially with the total supply, this is a no brainer. But what about your Binance Moonshot Max? Let me go to my Binance. Let me switch my MetaMask. And if you take a look over here, I have about 1,430, you know, DXN tokens. And this one's a little bit better. Right now, I got some unclaimed BNB fees. That is 0.04. Not too bad to buy some more <laughs> DBZN. But anyway, this is super bullish and a lot of people because of these high gas fees is going to start looking elsewhere. And for me personally, Binance, Polygon and AVAX is where you want to go. So super bullish. The fact that, you know, what I'm saying you got your Zen NFTs. You, you already know me. I'm minting out my Zen NFTs on Binance. I'm also minting out on my AVAX because the gas fees are just a little bit better you know so take a look at all my mints over here and i'm creating mints all the time you know got some dry powder around just throw it in there just mint it out because the blockchain is soon to come zen's proof of burn function collects everybody's wallets and the amounts that they have burned on all chains mm -hmm. okay so the airdrops will occur on x1 when it launches for all those people that have burned now to get the XN that's traded on Ethereum or released on Ethereum or BSC or Polygon, you would have to participate. We think currently that's the current model is going to be an auction like system that will allow you to burn Zen, to burn Zen NFTs and get the direct mint that will be then treated as one to one with the X1 blockchain. So, that, so it's actually two ways to distribute it. You're, whatever you're burning now, we're actually creating records of people that have burned. And when we say people, it's really just wallet addresses. Sure. So when you come with the same wallet address to X1, X1 will be aware of what you have been doing on all of the chains to, all together. 
All right, so let's break this down real quick. So you already know the X1 blockchain, right? It's all about fairness. They don't want to do any VC. They want this to be the people's blockchain. The, the community is the one that's supposed to own this blockchain. So therefore, the X1 blockchain is going to scan your wallet and see what you've been doing all this time. If you've been in protocols, like for example, DBZen, burning some Zen over here, or you could be over at Phoenix burning all these Zen and take a look already, 5.6 trillion Zen. Or you could be at where? Zen Doge burning some more Zen tokens over there. And obviously there's more protocols to come. There's more in the works right now, but the blockchain is gonna scan your wallet and say, hey, hold up, throughout all those blockchains, you must have burned like 2.3 trillion Zen. And because of that, you are going to get a specific allocated amount of airdrops going to that wallet. And you already know that people have multiple wallets, so much wallets. So that means you want to make sure that you are burning lots of Zen in, on different wallets in order to qualify for those airdrops on different wallets, right? So that right there, guys, is super bullish. So a second way for you to get an airdrop is basically when the XN token comes out on ETH, you're gonna have to burn some tokens for it. It's gonna be kind of like a, you know, like a lobby, like a DB Zen type. And then you're gonna burn your way to get those tokens, to get those airdrops. Now, those same XN tokens is not only gonna be on ETH, it's gonna be on BSC. They're gonna be, you know, a lobby on Polygon or AVAX and everything else. And that's how you're going to acquire, you know, your um, X and tokens, and that's going to be traded in at a one to one ratio for the X1 blockchain token. Now, the one thing you got to consider is that there's going to be heavy, heavy competition because when the blockchain comes out and it's real and it's right in front of people's faces, they're going to say to themselves, Yo, I'm going to try to burn as much as I can. I'm going to get my Zen NFTs. I'm going to start burning. I'm going to start doing all that stuff. So, you're going to have to prepare for that right now. But remember, everything that you're doing right now, there's like a detailed receipt of what you're doing that's being accounted for that's gonna help you get the airdrops. So that's why it's super bullish when you go into Phoenix. That's why it's super bullish when you go into DB Zen, when you go to Zen Doge, when you go to all the other projects that's burning Zen because you are going to get a hefty airdrop if you are the ones that's continuously burning. Because remember, it's all about competition. You might burn one trillion tokens um, this month, but somebody else that, that continues to burn after four or five months after you might have 25 trillion tokens and they're gonna get the bigger allocations. So the question is, are you gonna be able to keep up? Are you gonna be able to stay focused and motivated on burning on a consistent basis in order to get those X1 airdrops? Yeah, so Optimism, Arbitrum, Layer 2 Chains, uh, we're coming. They're Tell very, very fast. They're very fast. Uh, I hope we're not going to break them too hard. And this will be another opportunity to get into uh, Zenturians and Zunicorns and uh, have a very, very low C rank and uh, basically start uh, from, from the beginning on those chains. So when, sir? Uh, we're thinking weeks now, weeks, uh, two weeks. Oh, specifically. I almost <laughs> knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Well, I'm definitely going to participate because uh, it is very inexpensive. It is super fun. It is fast. And I wanted to I wanted to be like, you know, participate and, and be the, in the part of the history being made. Yo, are you serious? Two weeks? I mean, two weeks? Yo, we only got two weeks to prepare for this, man. I'm already going to get my ARP tokens ready. I'm not playing around getting my ARP together because at the end of the day, for me, personally, I feel like, you know, Arbitrum, Zen is going to be one of the premier blockchains. I feel like it's going to be right next to BSC and Polygon. This is going to be heavy, heavy anticipated. People already know because why? If we go to, let's say, Ethereum, right, guys? Imagine you could rewind time, go back when Zen first started, and you could get your global rank back up. You could get the maximum term days really high, the AMP, the EAA, the APY, everything is reset to the start and you could start going in and go crazy. And a lot of people learn a lot of lessons, especially from minting Zen. You know, a lot of things we didn't really know about, we didn't really understand. But now that we have 
this knowledge, we're gonna bring it to the op and arbitrum and things are gonna look on the up and up. So for me, this is going to be super bullish, guys. I can't wait to start creating some Zen FTs on the Arbitrum blockchain. I can't wait to like start minting out and staking. You already know Arbitrum is pushing in billions of dollars, man. People's gonna FOMO in. I already know things is gonna be looking very, very nice on that blockchain. So you already know two weeks, Jack said it. Hopefully it happens in two weeks, but if not, it's time for us to get ready and to prepare. So guys, there you have it, man. That is the bullish news from Jack. Get prepared, guys. Yo, the Zen Network, the Zen Universe, it seemed like every freaking week or two, something brand new is coming now. There's always some new alpha, new project, new blockchain. This thing is consistently just evolving and changing. So make sure you stay committed. You hit that like, you smash that subscribe for your boy. This is your boy, Moonshot Max, taking you straight to the moon. I'm gonna see you guys on my next video pretty, pretty soon. Peace out.